Hi everyone, <clears throat> so I have a machine that I've been testing for the last couple of days and it's actually really cool and I want to show you what it is and I have here a bar of aluminum that I test. This is a MOPA fiber laser from COM Marker. So this will be officially the COM Marker B, the boy 6, B6. Uh, it has the same structure than older on marker machine, so it's like a unibody kind of thing. It's one base, uh, and they have a plate. You can put the plate on the side, so you can have the control unit on one side, and you can have the working base in another side. Uh, this one has an auto focus system. It has the automatic lift, so you have the up and down options, and works with Lightburn, so you will need your Galvo license on Lightburn. It has a working area of 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters and on the spray sheet that they sent me, it shows that can be expanded to 300 by 300. Um, and this is a 20 watt MOPA fiber laser. So I did something here really quick and I'm gonna put a, a quick video so you can see how fast it goes and you can go actually faster. But I want to show you this. So this is really nice because I got a perfect white, like perfect on the spot white on the aluminum. And you can get different colors with the MOPA because the frequency range is huge. This one specifically on the manual says that the frequency can go from say one to four thousand. Now I don't know if you can use the whole range. I doubt it, but still is a huge range for you as, as a frequency so this laser promise a lot and to be honest i've been comparing the 20 watts because the x2 f1 ultra is also a 20 watt fiber and based on the frequency it can be sort of a mopa but it's a little bit smaller frequency go from 30 to 60 this one goes from one to four thousand now, I did a couple necklaces on the stainless steel. Uh, they mark beautifully, uh, and, and you will see the video. I will roll that video in a minute. Uh, this machine is not on their website yet, but it promised to be a really good machine. Now, price point. Uh, these machines are definitely a lot cheaper than x machine, but seems to be a lot stronger. And we have the same concept again lenses field lenses on on a fiber laser play a really crucial a crucial role on how strong the laser is going to be so when you have a machine that tries to expand the field from in this case 150 by 150 or 110 by 110 in my other fiber uh, and you want to expand it to 200 you are losing power and I know that because when I use the 200 by 200 to do license plates the power needs to be compensated by an extra pass when I'm using it on the 110 lens the power is really concentrated in a point that I get a really 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 good engraving this one has that thing the lens that comes with it is 150 uh, and the engraving is amazing, it's super quick, super fast, as strong as you can get. And a 20 watt fiber or MOPA fiber laser. On the X2 happens that it's a 200 working area and we have issues with power distribution. Um, the autofocus also works uh, on a little screen. On the top they have a screen that uses the autofocus and it has a, an advanced controls on the autofocus, so you can change what is the pitch of the screw and different other things to control how much go on a micro adjustment. That is great because all you want to do is have a micro adjustment. So uh, I made, of course, a little fixture to put my jigs on it, and I can use it. So you here and use it. Now they use a 25 millimeters from hole to hole on the working plate. That means that you can use basically any jig, any fixture that you can get your hands on that will fit any laser. And the difference is instead of M6 screws, they are using M5. So M5 screws. So uh, it doesn't come with a air 
assist. We do have an error assist for this machine already. Uh, it's going to be on the website soon. Uh, once this machine is fully released. But I, I got to tell you, uh, don't be fooled by the distribution on the holes because if you count the holes and you go with the middle, you will be shifted to the left on your laser because remember the column is here. So they have the two extra screws or lines of screws that aligns with the column. I don't know why, uh, but it still will work for fixing bigger stuff, I guess. But in reality, your area goes on the first six screws only. And that's your area, the 150 by 150. So your center will be like around here, instead around here. It's something to consider, especially when you are trying to find how to place your jigs in, in the right place. And I know that because I did this one to fit the center perfectly with the lens. And I also have this one that I did to fit the center of the working area. And that's how I discovered that wasn't centered with the lens because everything was shift. But power is great. It's basically a couple screws to assemble. You just put the unit, the galvo unit, you just put it on the L-shaped bracket that they send, tie everything right, everything is on the bracket, then yeah, the column goes on the base, and they have a little film that goes under the base, so when you engrave something that goes through the holes won't mark over the main unit. Not that you're gonna perform that or nothing like that, but it's just to protect it a little extra. Uh, and then it's four screws to hold everything over the main unit. Now. Something interesting to consider is that, again, you can put these on the side, so you don't need to be this high. So if you're using a rotary, you don't need to lift the rotary. The rotary can be level with your machine. It does have a rotary uh, capabilities. Also, I do not have the, ro the rotary for it, but it comes with a rotary unit. So let me show you how that looks. So this is the controller. This is the controller or the drive for the rotary. That means that you connect the rotary here and then this goes to the laser. And this is the driver that controls the rotary. So it comes with that. Also comes, also it comes with the pedal so you can repeat the job. So I don't have the pedal installed in this one. I have it on my other machines, but same concept. A tap on the pedal. This is a little different. This is one tap light burn to repeat the job. Um, the machine has the, the power adapter, cables, and everything that you wanted. Autofocus, if you don't want to use the autofocus, you don't want to use the automatic motor because you want to fine tune, it has a knob on the top, so you can fine tune your focal distance. And that's great. That's something that a lot of people, especially when you're working on metals, you want to have. You want to have the ability to micro adjust and also the ability to off focus, especially when you want to do a really black Marking on the stainless steel uh, tumblers. So when you want to do tumblers, you want to off focus a little bit of the tumbler so it doesn't go too deep necessarily on the metal and just remove the coating too. So there are various techniques and ways uh, that you can mark the metals in different other coated elements differently with the, uh, a regular CO2 or a diode laser. And this machine is promising, I gotta tell you, this machine is promising a lot. I mean, it's super compact. The, air, the footprint is about the same size of the F1 Ultra, just a little bit deeper. Uh, it has a, on the back the cable, this exposed in, with its corrugated tube plastic uh, to protect the fiber cable that comes from the main unit to the galvo. Um, but all you need to know is that you don't need to bend that in 90 degrees and you're good, I mean, come on. Uh, other than that, I mean, we're, we're going to be putting some stuff for the machine out and I'm going to put the link below for a cone marker uh, with a code so you can get a discount on it. Uh, I don't know when, when they are going to release exactly the machine. I need to confirm that and I will put it in an update in the descriptions below. Uh, and if you like this video and you want to see testing or, or something specific, you want me to run in this machine. You want me to test something. Put in the comments below, uh, I will run it for you. I have a bunch of materials that we just acquired to do a lot of testing on this machine, and we can do a head-to-head -head engraving to see 
who is getting the better results. This machine on the 20 watt uh, is the same power output than the X2 F1 Ultra for half of the price. There is a couple things here and there. Of course, the F1 Ultra are going to be better for some people, uh, including the software. This one needs library, and you will need to get a Galvo license. So the Galvo license is a different than the regular diode. Um, I believe now they have a different licensing cost. I don't have it on the top of my head, but it's a library machine, 100% compatible. Comes with EasyCAD 2, which is a nice software too. And there, there is not much I can say right now. Uh, stay tuned for some testing. Put in your comments below uh, what you would like to run in this machine. If you want to run something, let us know. We will run it. Uh, and if you like what you've seen, you want us to support, just give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and fire the laser.